I'm Peter Costa with the Global Alliance for Rabies Control. Today I'm talking about rabies, a deadly yet preventable disease that infects the brain. Rabies virus is passed from an infected animal to an uninfected animal or human, most often through saliva. Our skin serves as a protective barrier through which rabies virus does not enter. But when our skin is broken, for example through a scratch or bite wound, infected saliva from a rabid animal can enter and start to cause the disease process. When a person or an animal is exposed to rabies virus, the virus travels along the nerves to the brain where it causes massive viral infection. From the brain, the virus travels back out to the various body organs, including the salivary glands, where it is able to be injected into another animal or human when a bite occurs. Rabies virus infection frequently causes behavioral changes in both animals and humans, including increased aggression or excessively friendly behavior. These specific changes help the virus to be passed on to a new victim through saliva and bite and scratch wounds. There are many different types of rabies viruses that have been identified and all mammals are susceptible to infection from the different types of rabies viruses. Once symptoms of rabies are present in any animal or human, death is almost certainly inevitable. However, even after an exposure to a rabid animal has occurred, the disease can be prevented in humans if the bite wounds are washed with lots of soap and water, and the bitten person gets rabies vaccine and immunoglobulin promptly. Most of the more than 55,000 global human rabies deaths that occur every year happen due to a lack of awareness of the dangers involved or because they could not afford treatment. In some poor families where multiple children have been bitten, a choice must be made about which child to treat. In other cases, Families must sell all of their valuables in order to pay for the vaccine. Most human deaths occur in Asia and Africa, where dog rabies has not been controlled. However, in the Americas and in Europe, human exposures and deaths also occur, mostly after exposures to rabid bats. Protecting our pets by keeping them up to date on their rabies vaccination and avoiding contact with wildlife can help us to protect ourselves and our families against this deadly disease. Before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I serve as the Director of Communications for the Global Alliance for Rabies Control. The Global Alliance for Rabies Control, founded in 2007 by leading rabies experts, is the world's foremost nonprofit organization dedicated to preventing rabies in humans and animals. Since its formation, the Alliance has educated over 100 million people in 200 countries and territories and is the creator and coordinator of World Rabies Day, observed each year on September 28th. If you'd like to learn more, check out our other videos on rabies, including what animals are most likely to be rabid.